Hi, welcome to Rose Opal Knits, a crafty channel. This is episode one of Jordan 5 and I'm Daphne. And I'm Erica and we are a mother-in-law, daughter-in-law duo from Delaware. you doing welcome if you are returning thank you so much for being here and if you are new we hope you stick around and you like what you see um, like I said my name is Erica and I am the mother-in-law I'm married to my high school sweetheart and we have four children three boys Holden is 27 Thomas is 20 and Ralph is 15 and our daughter Mary Rose is seven uh, I'm married to her oldest son, and we have four kids also. We have three boys. Mason is five, Theo is two, and Isaac is 11 months, and Paisley is three. And this is a crafty channel. Today's episode is our knitting and crochet episode, although I don't have any crochet. Do you? I have one crochet. Thing. Okay. And um, uh, we also talk about other things we might do, um, but today is just knitting and crochet, really. And... Um, we also on this channel um, I have cross stitch diaries that I put up from time to time and anything else oh uh, you can in the description box below is where you'll find all of our information where you can find us on social media our discord group and our discourse discord group is where we host all our knit alongs and make alongs it's free to join so please join us there and um, what else the website where we have free sock, DK weight sock patterns and hat patterns and cow patterns. Um, Probably social media, spread shop, uh, so far. Yeah, mm hmm. And I think that's all we have. <laughs> yep, yeah, um, any uh, podcasts that we mention, we usually try to link below. Um, there are shops below that have codes that you can use if you're a Rose Opal Knits um, viewer. And anything else? If we've left anything off, you our emails down there. You can um, please leave a comment, and we'll get back to you. And thank you to those who do leave um, comments. We haven't gotten back to them yet, but we will get back to them soon. That's just how we do around here. It's crazy. It's busy. Oh, that's what I didn't say in the beginning. Um, we are a homeschooling family, and we're also also a multi generational household. So there are eleven of us that currently live in the house. So it is loud, it is crazy, and sometimes you hear that in the background of the podcast, but hey, that's our life, and we're real around here, so, um, all right. So I think we're going to go ahead and get into the crafty goodness. All right, we're going to start with finished objects, but I did want to point out my shirt says, that's what I do, I read books and knit. I don't know what the bottom says. And I know things. <laughs> A friend bought this for me for my birthday. All right, so I have one finished object. I have three. All right, I'll go first. Okay. So I finished my Painted Lady in the Cabin socks. This one was already done, and the last time I showed the socks, they were right here a couple rounds away from putting in the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. And then I finished the entire sock. You want to hold it? So this is a fingering weight socks, 64 stitches. I knit it on a US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It lived in this bag from um, Delightful Works. The link to the a link to the shop is in the description box below. She does have a free shipping code for Rose Opal Knit viewers. And the reason the sock is called the Painted Lady in the Rustic Cabin is because of the yarns I used. So this up here and in the heel you and the toe, the toe is a Barnyard Knits Painted Lady. And then the stripes are Felici Rustic Cabin. And um, I knit most of the sock on a nine inch circular needle but then I also magic looped the fish lips kiss heel and the toe and this is all I have left of one 50 gram ball up there. you got pretty close mm -hmm. I think I had about the same amount and this is 
Um, this is kind of like a mess up. I tried to do something a little bit different with the fish lips kiss heel. I do like the fish lips kiss heel, but I thought that I was going to try to knit like a little mini gusset in here. Um, so I picked up I did a couple extra uh, rows at the beginning and a couple extra rows at the end. And then I picked up five extra stitches on the side, which meant that I should decrease 10 stitches total doing like a, a mini, a short gusset. And I forgot to do that. <laughs> I forgot to do that. So when I went to decrease for the toe, I realized I had 74 stitches on my needle instead of 64. So um, this toe is uh, a bit longer. And um, what I did to the toe was I decreased two rounds, knit one round, decreased two, knit one, decreased two, knit one, until I got to the very end and I decreased two or three rounds at the very end and I actually just pulled the string through. So it's not even a Kitchener toe, it's just like, like cinched. And um, I actually really like the way it fits. So 64 stitches up here, 74 stitches down here. And the good news is, is that they're both like that, 64 stitches and 74 stitches. Cause I realized my mistake with the first sock. So I was able to duplicate it with the second sock. So I think they're pretty. So that is a whip done, yay. Was that the only one you had? Oh, real quick. <laughs> my daughter got some air dry modeling clay. Um, she's very crafty and she loves to do stuff. And um, she left some out on the table and I thought they kind of looked like our rose opal knits colors. So I made a little E and a little D progress keeper and they're so cheesy, but anyway, I did that. So there's yours. Uh -huh. They're so light. Yeah, they are. It's like, um, it feels kind of like foam when it dries. Yeah. So. I've never seen that. Yeah. I haven't touched any of the things she made. Mm-hmm. She, I woke up the other day when she first opened it, and she's like, hey, Daphne, I made you a toad. And I said, <laughs> what? A toadstool is what she was trying to say. I yeah, like, I was like, like a little you, mushroom. I was like, what did you think? <laughs> but she showed me it, like, right away, but, like, I didn't actually ask, like, what? It's and really kind of like, cute. Yeah, it was really cute, actually. It's mm -hmm. still drying, though. Everything Yeah, everything she dry. made is dried because it's kind of thick. Yeah. Maybe I'll pop in a picture, too, but... Um, she wants to come on the podcast and talk about her stuff, but I told her she has to be older. I mean, the kids do kind of show up in our vlog mess videos, mm -hmm. but not for like the normal podcast. So yeah, <laughs> maybe if she gets like a hobby that she like always like wants to do more than anything. I mean, yeah. she draws all the time, but yeah. you know what I mean, like mm -hmm. something. She she's flits little... from craft to yeah. craft to craft. So mm -hmm. right now she's between painting mm -hmm. with the watercolors and. The clay. The clay, yeah, those are her yeah. two things right now. But so that's those are the only things I've finished. Okay, I have one crocheted, which is this tote thingy. It's like very not sturdy, but I was down by that rainbow and it's crocheted. So I crocheted up and then crocheted the strap. It's got little buttons on this side. So one is actually Red Lady's Creates pin and one just says Yarn Lover on it, or my buttons. I didn't want to search for buttons, so I just used those. But oh, so you just use button pins yeah, they're as pins. your buttons. They're okay. Pins. Uh huh. But this is it. And I made a smaller version of this last year, like end of last year. Mm -hmm. So it's a, this one's a little bit more flimsy because the yarn I chose. But then it's got a top bit that cinches shut. Right? It's kind of hard to show, but it's okay. But the yarns are, the main color is... So this one is the Loops and Threads multi marled Acrylic in the color Coastal Cabin. And I am completely out of this yarn. And then the pink in here is Swish DK. I have the tag somewhere. <laughs> I kept it all in here. I swear I just saw the tag. Yeah. So the pink is Swish DK Incarnation. And then this blue... I don't know what it is. It is from my grandma. Don't have a tag. Don't know what it is. It's a DK weight of some sort. I haven't even cut it. It's done. <laughs> you haven't even cut it yet. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. Uh -huh. but whatever. And my hook is stuck too. But I used a 7mm hook and I did not follow a pattern. I did it myself. Alright, so. so you just cinch it close? Yep, you can just cinch it close. 
Gotcha. All right. So this is all single crochet and then the little like. So are you going to use it pinching. for a project? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting the Tolsta in it actually. I just wanted to show it without yarn in it. Oh, okay. okay. So it is kind of flimsy, which is kind of what I want in this kind of basket. So I bought like four of them from Target. They had them in their dollar spot last year. I bought four different styles and they all look like this, but they have two separate handles. So this one you can undo, like if you don't want a handle, you just want a basket, you can undo this and like tuck it down. And the light, like top lining bit cinches shut because I have small children and my children always want to get into my things. So that at least stops them from like just reaching into a basket. So it works. I like it. I like it too. Mm -hmm. It's not the best. I wish it was a little bit more sturdy, but it's okay. I could have went down like a neat uh, hook, hook size, size, but I didn't want that to. That might have been not fun to crochet. No, though. that's what I mean. I didn't. I mm. like it. Mm. I made a littler one, so I kind of like it when they're a little bit flimsy because then, like, yeah, you can then you kinda... can like put it away. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. all. Like, I'm not. I'm not like upset that it's as flimsy as it is. Mm-hmm. But I just wish it was a little bit more sturdy. But I don't know if I'd actually make it more sturdy. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But yeah, because see, you could just fold that. Yeah, I can put it in my bin of bags, mm -hmm. basically. Yep. So it works out in the end, and I really like it. I haven't used it yet, but I like it, and I liked my little one. So I knit. I made the little one to hook onto the baby carrier because I was wearing Isaac for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. I still wear him sometimes, mm -hmm. like to get him to take a nap. But it. I made it because I wanted. The yarn pocket something like that nitty natty talks about it and she like when she's walking around you know what i'm talking oh, about oh yeah, yeah i showed you them i yeah. forget who which mm -hmm. which bag maker makes them but someone makes like fabric ones and i mm -hmm. have missed every update and i was like dang it so i was like i'm making one so i made one of my own that would also close mm -hmm. which is so i mean i basically took a fabric pattern that someone else was making and turned it into a crochet pattern. Yeah. That would work for me that also closed. Like the ones that you can buy don't close at all and I wanted them to close. Mm. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it worked out. But then I also finished. Wheat, I meant to say this in the beginning and I forgot. It's a beautiful day today and um, but it's kind of warm. So we, have, we didn't use the professional lights. We just opened the blinds and, um, but the, the clouds, you know, they're, dotted so you know the sun's going in and out a little bit also they've got a fan running so if you hear that it's just i didn't even realize <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of warm it's like 70 something degrees today mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. so it's kind of warm it's which is nice warm. but yeah. like when you've gone from cold and now it's warmed up to 75 mm -hmm. it feels hot like the kids want to like turn on the sprinkler and stuff and we're yeah, like yeah i bought a oh. pool today and they're like oh, we go swimming i said no it's not the season yet you guys so, yeah. not yet not yet but i wanted to buy it because i wanted a certain style before they sell out mm -hmm. so i bought a pool today it's just a little dog pool actually mm -hmm. but if you have small kids they are actually probably some of the best ones that you could get because the blow up ones they can break they can pop them and then you're out of pool and then mm -hmm. you're gonna have a hard time finding another one and then those plastic ones, hard plastic, yeah. the hard plastic ones, you can't really store those. So the dog pools are small, like you can fold them up and put them away too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. dog pools are where it's at. But anyway, back to knitting. So that's the only crochet I had, but I finished Paisley's Anne sweater. Oh, it's so cute. So that's where that, stitch, that rainbow is. And so I did the rest of the body. And I had to pick up up here and do the little rolled hem. And then these ginormous puffy sleeves mm -hmm. are so cute. But this yarn is, this is not the tag. Yes, it is. This is Loops and Thread mixed up. And it's also an acrylic yarn in the color Passion Flower. So I had two balls of it. This is how much I have left. That's a lie. I have more in here. So I, I did my very best to actually match the stripes. So this is where I ripped out. And then this is how much I have left. So I don't have a ton left. I don't know what I'm going to do with the scraps yet. But I used a... Oh. I knit the four-year-old size. And I used a US 8, which is a 5 millimeter, And I believe I used a 10. A US 10. Which is a 6 millimeter. So, and I followed it... 
foliage or batter, actually, length and all, because I thought it would be really, really cute over this um, white dress from Mary Rose, it was a hand-me-down, so I thought it would be really cute, and she's got like a couple other dresses, so I need to weave in the ends, I didn't want to yet, so, but it's done. Mm -hmm. and super, it's super cute. cute. She's so excited about it too. She really liked it. So that's a plus. So I just need to weave in the ends and then she can wear it. But I finished one more. I finished Paisley's Pimp Palm Shawl. So that stitch marker is where it was. So it's got these eyelets and then little scallop borders. So this is the Pimp Palm Shawl by Laura Penrose. And I knit the smaller size. So there's two sizes, the children's and the adults. So this is the children's. This is the children's, yes. And I used this color is Yarn Cafe's Creations in the Black Lic Licorice Assorts. And then the purple is Sweet Tea Yarns in the Royal Color. And this is how much I have left. I had just a little bit of this color left, but I used it to fix a store bought cardigan that the seam popped on it. So I just had to like sew back up real quick. And I used the US 8, which is a five millimeter to knit the whole thing. And again, I knitted two patterns. So she's also very excited about this. I put it over her shoulders and I said, look at you, you're the, like a little lady now. <laughs> she thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> she did think it was yeah. funny. So her things are done now and that was three things off my list, but my list is back up, <laughs> and you'll see why in a minute. But three things are done that mm -hmm. I've been kind of just hanging out for a little while now. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal, finish the things that I've been just hanging around. So. All right. So is that the... That was, my, that was all my finished objects. I have quite a few whips. All I right. have five. So I have four. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have four whips. So we're going to go into whips, and then I have a, a couple of acquisitions. Well, I have one. I'll show one in whips, and then the other after whips. But it was my birthday on Saturday, Saturday April 6th, and so I got a present, and then I had a birthday cast on, and we're going to throw it ahead, go ahead and throw it in here. So if you've made it this far, that's great, because I'm going to do a birthday giveaway. <laughs> So I bought a new pattern on my birthday. It's not a new pattern, it's just new to me. And I casted it on. So I thought it would be fun to do a birthday pattern giveaway. So just leave a comment below in the description box with um, what pattern you've been eyeing and that you wanna start but you haven't gotten yet. And then uh, we will do a random comment picker. And um, once, what? Once we record next week, the mm -hmm. winner will be announced. All right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you starting or am I? I have four. You have five. So you go first. Okay. Unless you feel like you just talk too much. I'll talk about this one because this is the... Yeah, this is my last one that's not a new cast on. I cast on four brand new things for no reason. <laughs> so the one that I... The last one I have is the... I forget what that's called. Oni socks, I think. Oh, I forget what it's called. A U N I, I believe. But it's supposed to be this twisted rib pattern, right? But so I did the top. The top is to pattern, okay? And then I thought the yarn is a little too busy for the pattern, so I just started stocking it. And these will be shorties. So the rest of the sock, I'm still in the gusset. So I was where the heart was. So I did the heel flap, and now I'm in the gusset, and it will just be stockinet stitch till the toe. But it's like these little bobbles up at the top. And then, yeah, I don't know what heel it calls for. I know nothing else about the sock. I just followed the top fit. But this, um, this is a sock set by Sweet Mountain Yarns. And it's a rose opal set. So Which is no longer available. No, it's not. But the main color is like the rose opal color. And then the yellow is Daphne and the orange is Erica. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how far I am. It's on a... It's a D, this one's the DK weight. So those little gnomes right there, they are also the rose opal sets, but that's the finger weight. Yeah, not, not the, the brown. brown. The brown is actually Noble Character Crafts in Wilderness. But 
So this is the fingering weight colors. They're so cute. <laughs> but I used a US3, which is a 3.25 millimeter. And I don't know what size I'm knitting. Whatever size is closest to 56 stitches is what I'm doing. I don't know what it is. I haven't looked at the pattern. I did the top bit and then I put it down for a month and then I picked it back up finally. <laughs> That's what I did to my painted lady in the cabin socks. That's why that gusset didn't get knit. <laughs> oh, this is a Mountain State Stitches bag. It matches pretty well, actually. It does. Uh, yeah. All right. Not like perfectly, but it's pretty close. So. But that's my only whip that you guys have seen before. The rest of them are all new. All right. I'll show my sock progress. So in my bag, a chair stitch by Oli bag. is a Christmas bag because it's Christmas yarn. I'm still working on this sock. I'm going to have another finished pair of socks. So I say that, right? Not... Maybe you knit them the legs too long. You know what I mean? Do you get time to I do know. I, I keep thinking that I just need to do shorty fingering I mean, you don't socks. need to do them so short, but just shorten them some. Because, I mean, like... Well, I prefer wearing DK weight in the winter anyway. So, if mm -hmm. I knit shorty fingering weight, then it can be when it's a little bit warmer. Yeah, I mean, like, knit them, like, this length. So, the, um, the last time I showed them, I was up here. So, I, yeah, I made a pretty good bit. Mm -hmm. But I didn't pick them back up till after I finished the other sock anyway. And I'm almost ready to put in the heel. This is going to get an afterthought peasant heel. I'm going to use waste yarn. But the main color yarn is West Yorkshire Spinners and Fairy Lights. And then the heel and the toe, let me see, is West Yorkshire Spinners, right? Mm -hmm. Lime Rick. Lime chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate lime. That's what it is. Lime ricking is another color I'm using. <laughs> um, so here's the finished one. And then this is the second. And 64 stitches uh, US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter needle. And so that's where I am. And this is a um, Progress Keeper by... Hey Country Creations. Yep. So it's so cute. They like... Those little tiny beads mm. that are like sewn together. Yep. And okay, that's my sock whip. The rest are not socks. I have one sock and another Mountain State Stitches bag. This is what I cast on yesterday because tomorrow's the 11th, which means I'm knitting on my husband's things for this week. And so my week starts on Tuesday this time because I really wanted to finish that shawl, so I didn't cast this on until yesterday. I'm in the middle of a row because I was sitting in the dentist's office and I was knitting and then they called me. So hold on. All right. I'm in the middle of the heel. That yarn is so pretty. I know, right? It's been sitting forever. <laughs> okay, you have to see this. Look how perfect. Mm -hmm. That is perfect. So this is the yarn and I actually lost the tag. I wound this up when I bought it. I bought it from Vulcan's Rest before they closed. Like, Second time I ever went there, I bought this. So, mm -hmm. and they closed. In December. Uh, yeah, of just end of December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know it's knitted whip, but I don't know the color name of it. So it's on a US2. I'm doing a 68 count sit sock and what is it to? A 2.75 millimeter needle? Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's so pretty, but I, I really don't know the colorway, which is a shame. Yeah, it but is so pretty. I know. I have tried to figure it out too. I probably, I probably said it, it when I bought it, mm -hmm. but I don't know when, like exactly when I bought it to tell you what episode I would have said it in or anything like that. Yeah. But it's so pretty. I could maybe look it up. Look at it. I know it is so so pretty though. Mm -hmm. But these are for Holden. So do you have a Ravelry page, Ravelry page yet? Not for this one, no. Okay. But everything else does have a Ravelry page. Well, maybe when you make your Ravelry page, we can like do yeah. a search for that Hopefully yarn. I can find this yarn and let you guys know. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the middle. It's, look, I'm awful. It's a 68 stitch cat sock. And I did a two by two. You can barely see it. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be a vanilla. So I'm already onto the heel flap. So it's 16 rounds of the two by two and then 14 rounds of stockinette before the heel flap. Because he likes shorter do. socks. He does prefer, prefer, prefer shorter socks, but I'm knitting them a little bit longer than what he originally said because I have looked at his socks that he's been wearing. He put two holes in socks. This is the second pair in literally 
two weeks. <laughs> so now I'm down, and now I need to knit five pairs of socks to get up to 14 pairs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. So, this is pair one. <sighs> I need to cast on, like, three more socks for him. But, yeah, so this is a bit longer than the socks that he currently is wearing. You think he just yanks on them, like, to try to get them a no, little bit taller? Or? No, So, we went to the Air and Space Museum in... Chantilly, Virginia. Chantilly, Virginia, over the weekend because my uncle that lives in Alabama was up here visiting because he likes museums, so he came up to D.C. We're only like two hours out from D.C., so he wanted to go to the Aaron Faith Museum, and when we got home, Holden takes off his shoe, and then we, he walks downstairs, and I walk down there after him, and he said, look, you can see my toe, and I said, Holden, those are knitted socks. Mind you, I knit these ones in November. They are, I could tell, like, they, I know all the information about these socks still, because they're from November. They're the Life is Gouda. Oh, yeah. Do you have from, more of that? No. Oh. Maybe a little bit. But, yeah, he's got a hole in his sock again. I would just take off the top of the toe and re-knit the toe. It's so annoying. Yeah, like, I don't know how he did it. It's literally just the tip of the toe, too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how do you do this? But... He said that those ones are a little tight anyways, so I think I knit them a little, like the foot a of short. it, a little too short anyways, mm -hmm. so it's bound to happen, mm -hmm. but still, that's the second pair in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like how? He's only ever poked holes. The one pair, he had three pairs with holes, right? But the one's but just one worn pair, thin, right? Yeah, the one pair is worn thin, so I took them off his feet. Literally, he's wearing them, and I take them from his feet. Like, take them off his feet physically and said, you can't wear these ones. I'll bring you new ones. Mm -hmm. But then the knitted wit, I used a different toe, and that toe wore thin. Oh, like, okay. it just snapped. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know what he's doing to his socks. All right, in my bag by Red Red's Lady Create, um, it came as, like, a... Sock set. Bag. Yeah, so bag. the sock set was from Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. and the bag was... It, it, it was, was a collab. Yes, that's what it was. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Is my um, daughter's tee that I am knitting her for our season change um, make-along that we're hosting in the Discord group. And it is for a sleeveless, short sleeves, like elbow length. Um, and it can be for like a vest. Um, a vest, uh, open or closed vest, a uh, tank top, a t-shirt. Basically, if you don't knit full length sleeves and don't go past your elbow, it counts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> and, um, and for any size, baby mm -hmm. to adult, through adult. So, um, I showed this last week. It is Scotch Broom by Woolen Pine. And last week when I showed it, this is the front. Last week when I showed it, I only had one of these um, broomstick lace repeats done. So I've completed two more. I have to do a total of five before I cast on for the back and then knit five repeats. And then I do some kind of join, I think. Hmm. Something like that. I haven't like fully like read the pattern yet. Has she seen it? She's seen the yarn. She has not seen this. So the mm -hmm. yarn that I am using is um, Anastasia by Sweet Tea Yarns, Molly Klein Design. It's got a wrap around it because I'm actually pulling from the center. I never pull from the center, but this was, if you remember last week I showed you, I had started a sock. So here's the sock. <laughs> um, and I am just knitting, it's a, an adult size pattern and I'm knitting it for my seven and a half year old, but I'm knitting the smallest size on a U.S. not sure uh it's not on that side <laughs> <laughs> on a U.S. 5 3.75 millimeter needle oops yeah. it'll be so pretty I think it will it'll be. look so pretty on her too because she tans yeah <laughs> it'll look so good <laughs> but I mean she she tans naturally she doesn't just lay no yeah yeah someday. they just play outside so do my two boys, mm -hmm. Mason and Theo, do too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he usually does not. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I cast on three things for our make along, for myself. Oh, I cast on so. one more, but let's just do one, 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 one. That's fine. I'm gonna talk about this one. This is the first one I cast on. This is in a Red Lady Create bag too. It is stuffed full of yarn. 
because I ripped out a sweater. I ripped out my care sweater by Correa Bea, which I test knit that one. And I ripped it out because when I knit it, I knit the third size and I was pregnant and then I had a baby and it did not fit and it still would not have fit me now. So I ripped it out and I'm going to knit the Tolsta Tee by Correa Bea. It, so it's okay. And I have more yarn to knit the care sweater again. So this yarn was ripped out, just wound right back up. It's crinkly. I did not do anything to this yarn, so the knitting itself doesn't look fantastic, but it will block Lock out. out. I am not worried about it one bit. So, and I'm on an itty bitty cord, so it's well, all Well, that's what it's up. like knitting from a sock blade. Yeah, so I mean, like, I'm through the, what do they call it? Short rows. <laughs> Short rows. And I'm just working the raglan now, and I am terrible. It's not very far, honestly at all. It's crinkly. It doesn't look that great. It's okay. It'll look fine later. But this is um, Madeline Tosh in the Whooping Willow color and I'm using another color but she doesn't know what I'm doing with it yet so this is my other color which is also in the care sweater. This is Barnyard Knits in the Harvest color. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to incorporate this later but I'm not going to say how or anything like that yet. So I'm going to knit wait. a Tulsa too, and I'm not going to like give her all the details. It's kind of yeah. like going to be a surprise. Yeah, kind of. Like, I mean, <laughs> not really, we'll but kind it. of. Yeah. We'll be able to. So I so said we should knit this yeah. as a secret test knit mm -hmm. from each other. Like, not test knit. Knit along with each other. Mm -hmm. Because she said she wanted to knit, knit it, and I wanted to. So I was like, well, let's just mm -hmm. knit it together. Mm -hmm. But. We live in the same house. We can't really keep secrets about knitting. <laughs> but I'm using a US 10, which is a 6 millimeter, And I believe the ribbing was on a 9, which is a 5.5 5 millimeter, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember which size I'm knitting. I, it's either 3 or 4, but it's on my Ravelry mm -hmm. for sure. So mm -hmm. I'm like... Does the camera look crooked? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm not fixing it now because that'll like mess it up. I don't think so. But that yarn I want to put into my tote thing that I made. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't really fit in that bag. <laughs> so. Alright, so I'm going to show one that you've already seen but you haven't seen in a while because I cast it on, what, last October? Mm -hmm. um, this is my ranunculus in a bag from Amazon. And I originally started using this yarn to knit a love note, messed up the lace. Couldn't figure out how to fix it. I just ripped it out and then decided to then use this yarn for a ranunculus. The yarn is, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Jennifer. Yeah, something like that. Metal tweed. And the color is a 00758, but it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I really like it. And, um,. this is where I am. So the last time I showed it, I was up here and I made it, you know, some good progress on it. Mm -hmm. I did make some modifications uh, only because of my yarn choice. So there's a lot going on with this yarn. It's got blips of different colors. It's got gold um, thread running through it and it's got red with like black puffs. Um, almost like I think it's to mimic it's like, like mohair. mohair yeah. yeah, to mimic mohair. It does have mohair in it. But so it's like tweedy, metally, and mohairy. Not mohair though, but fuzzy. You know. So you couldn't really see the details. You can see it on there though. Do you see that? Yeah, but you you can't really see it that well in person. You can see that there's something there, but you can't tell what it is. Is what it happening so these know? if you've knit this pattern before there's like a little v thing that happens with like increases and decreases that you do over a couple of rounds so instead of doing that i did like a like a yarn over decrease type of thing so that when i'm wearing it it'll be like an extra eyelet round you can't even really see it now but anyway <laughs> so that'll give it detail but it's not quite the same detail and then this these rounds is a, I believe it's a slip stitch. 
type detail and um, slip stitch with the yarn in front and I just purled them because I thought that that would be a more pronounced look. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to stick as much to the pattern as possible while also making small adjustments for my yarn choice. I think I'm going to love it. Sorry the, ne the needles keep hitting. Um, I'm using my Chow Goose US 9, which are a 5.5 millimeter needle. And there's something else I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. I can tell you in case anyone's interested. When I picked up this pattern to start knitting it again, I was on round six and now I'm on round 20. That's so, not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good progress. But so. And I don't I haven't decided how I'm gonna do the sleeves or anything yet. Mm -hmm. It really just depends on how much yarn I have left. <laughs> Because I can't really see incorporating this yarn in anything else. So yeah. I want to use up as much of it as possible. Mm -hmm. Here, I have a paper cream bag. That's pretty. Scary. But this is the Lana Vet by Irene Lynn. And I'm in the middle of short rows. No, I'm not. Okay. Never mind. I finished. My, I thought I would. It looked like it because my needle was poking through. I finished my short rows. So that's as far as I got. Well, look at this. So is that it's like the back? Color. This is the back side. Yes. Okay. And it's so hard to show. So like there's a cable there. There's a cable there. And there's this pearl detail right there. So it's really hard to show right now. Plus the yarn is tweed. So I don't know how much you're going to be able to see the center spine detail. But I'm sure you'll be able to see the cables once it's actually blocked. But this is... Cowboy, nope. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Cowboy Lucky Tweed is 100% merino in the color ocean. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for this one. But I put, I did this, said I was going to finish the short rows and then cast on my last thing. So I don't even know what size I'm knitting on this. I don't know what size I'm ever knitting. I only know when I'm looking at my pattern. But this one is a full chart it's a chart but I'm pretty sure I'm not reading the chart I think I'm just so it has written instructions yeah, and charted yeah, instructions and I think I'm just gonna read it actually oh, okay. so you could have just kept it on your phone I could have but this is way easier because I can actually mark it yeah yeah so oh, I'm only like I'm on thing. row eight when I go to pick it back up mm -hmm. so so you're knitting a size one maybe because it says size one. Or, no, you're just marking it off the row. Oh, yeah. I it's got know. all the... <laughs> you don't know. I am. I am knitting size one because it is a very oversized <laughs> vest. I'm knitting size one, I believe. I think. I don't know. I'll know when I go pick it back up. I you know, see. I, like, I, I, I always print, make sure. Yeah. I always print my patterns. And then at the top, I usually will write what size oh, I decided i got to show you the inside of this bag. So it's like a whole garden scene on the outside, right? Super cute. But then on the inside... A mouse stealing the strawberries. <laughs> but the needle size is somewhere. I'm using a US 9, which is a 5.5 millimeter needle. So I'm so excited for this one. But this is like the out of season one that I'm knitting, that I chose to knit for the make along. So it will get there. But this will be yeah. the slower moving one, I think. Plus, I mean, it's a full cable vest. So. <laughs> It's going to be a slower going project anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all I got on that one. All right. So my last whip that I worked on is a new cast on in a white rose fiber co bag. And it is, I have no idea how to pronounce it. It is by Camilla Vad. And it is not uh i'll just show you this because i'm not i'm not even gonna here and i am knitting the extra large size which is a 44 inch bust so this was my birthday cast on and it has color work 
Right now I am just working on the bottom ribbon ribbing because it's knit from the bottom up. I am knitting the bottom ribbing on a US 6, which is a four millimeter needle. And I am using Barocco Ultra Wool DK in a green color. I don't <laughs> think I don't have the tag in there. Yeah, I do. Wool DK in the pine, pine colorway. And I'm going to knit, the color work is like it starts out with a color at the bottom, Ooh. then you include a, your secondary color for the color work, for the contrast, and you continue using that secondary color, but you eventually add the third color, which becomes like the solid color at the top, because Ooh. the color work ends before you split for the sleeves. And I'm not doing it that way. I'm doing color one as a main color. So the ribbing all the way up through the shoulders is going to be the hunter green color. And then I'm going to alternate the color work stripey sections um, or the color work motif sections with these two colors. So this is Candy Shop Yarns Lime Ricky. That's why I said Lime Ricky <laughs> um, earlier. So the liquid candy Lime Ricky. It's 100% superwash merino. And it's got, it's mainly yellow with like some oranges, some pinks, and some greens. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. And then my other color is a new skein to me, Willow Tree Yarn, the Fancy DK, which is cashmere nylon super, um, a merino blend. It's superwash merino, cashmere nylon blend in the mauve heather color. So there's that. And Daphne um, checked recently and the Willow Tree Yarn shop is like on vacation. It's been on vacation for months. So, hey, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I but, bought this one back in December before mm -hmm. Christmas. And then she's just like, hey, you should just buy us a joint gift and buy us a coffee maker. Yeah, because they didn't know what to get Chris. <laughs> yeah. So I said, just buy Chris and I a joint gift yeah. and a coffee maker. So I bought this a Christmas present turned birthday present. <laughs> mm -hmm. So those are my three colors. And I think that they're going to look really good together. I think so too. So I hope to get a lot of progress done on that this week. At least up into the color work a ways. Mm -hmm. So. I have one more. Okay. And it's the pie camisole. How would you? Yeah. Cadre, cadre. Oh. How would you say that? I don't know. I would just show it on the screen. I don't know if that's bright enough. Yeah, it'll oh, show. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's mm -hmm. so cute. And I wanted this since like last year, like end of, like it was either early fall, end of summer last year. But, so I wasn't going to make it last year. So I'm making it this year. And I didn't make it far. It is a tight knit. So, this is how far I got. It's very small. But, this is, um, this is bear, this was bear yarn from Knit Picks. It's like a cotton yarn. I don't remember what it is exactly. But, I dyed it with the Rit dye in, like, the mauve color. And it became this color. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. But, it's looking a little blown out. Like, it's a, a bit deeper in person. A little bit. It's really pretty. Mm-hmm. But, so I have, like, three skeins of this. And I don't remember what size I'm getting either on this. But <laughs> I never do. <laughs> but it's on a US 2, which is 2.75 millimeter needle. So, and this is only, this is only one day's worth of work. So I'm still purling right now. So mm -hmm. this is, like... Right there, basically. And then it has longer, like, ribbing sections mm -hmm. for the armband and the mm -hmm. neck. So, it will get there. My goal, I really want this for summer. Mm -hmm. I think it will be so cute. Because, I mean, that's, like, what I wear, anyways. Yeah. Or, like, that kind of style tank top. So, it will be pretty. And I want it. So, it will get done. But... What was your needle poking through there? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. There's like one stitch that's a bit wonky right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. It'll block out. Hopefully. All right. So that is all the knitting we have to show. I do have another birthday present to show and an upcoming cast on.
when I finish my Christmas fingering weight sock. I'm going to cast on another pair of fingering weight socks. Um, so let me show that. So this was part of the birthday present, the um, skein of yarn from Willow Tree Yarn uh, and this bag from Cherish Stitch by Oli. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty it is. Um, there is a link to Oli's shop in the description box below. Inside is pink. So in the bag, I placed two skeins of yarn that I got for my birthday several years ago now that have just been waiting for the perfect pattern. So I am a big Jane Austen fan and Persuasion is my favorite Jane Austen book. And this is Anne Elliot and this is uh, Captain Frederick Whitworth. And this yarn is Canon Hand Eyes on the um, William Merino, which is a 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And I'm going to knit the a Crazy Sock Lady pattern called, I think it's called Love Story, <laughs> with these two colors. So, because Persuasion is a love story between Anne Elliot and Captain Whitworth. <laughs> That's funny. So, so I'm looking forward to casting those on, but I got to finish my Christmas socks first. And I'm, even though they're a pattern sock, I'll still probably knit them a bit shorter just because everyone knows I don't love knitting yeah. fingering weight socks. I don't love knitting fingering weight socks, but majority of mine are shorties. Like I have like maybe four or five pairs that mm -hmm. are longer ones, but I bought yarn. And I put it in this bag by White Rose Fiber Co. So does and that mean that I won? No, no it doesn't. No, nope. because she knit yarn Be to give us a gift to knit. My husband, <laughs> my husband said, "Hey, I he's taking a class right now to train for a new job, and um, he made a, cu a couple friends basically, and he's like, hey, I graduate in May. Can you make hats by then?' And I said, "What colors?" And he said, "Gray." red and green none of which i have colors of <laughs> so i had to buy yarn i bought these are all um knit picks droll fingering so i have this is forest green okay. so i bought two balls of each because i'm going to knit the rafa's hat by hohi locatelli and just because i know that pattern i don't have to think about it it's just one by one ribbing and it's holden's favorite hat. it's holden's favorite hat too so i figured let me just do that but these are the, this is the line of yarn that I could find colors that matched what he wanted. So, for the guys. So, this is Poppy. It is not, it's not that orange. It is, it does have a little bit of orange. It's an orange to undertone it, red, yeah. But it's definitely red. Mm -hmm. And then Ash. Mm -hmm. So, my needles come today. I decided to finally buy a US 6, 16 inch to knit hats because I'm always knitting this hat. So. Instead of using your, um, yeah, because I was like, why don't I have a hat needle yet? So I just bought a hat needle. Mm -hmm. So they're all just going to live in this bag and they're going to get knit. So I would normally be working on mainly Holden, only Holden things this week. But since this is technically at for Holden's him, request, I mean, yes, yeah. at Holden's request and I have a time limit, I have to have them done by May 3rd. Yeah. Basically, this is going to go in his spot and till they're done, mm -hmm. basically. So I went to finish... These and the one pair of socks because those are also my cast on for the sock sash make along by use by your Bounce. stash yeah, use your stash <laughs> like, I don't even know what it's called <laughs> I've been doing it but that was my new cast on for that make along so I need those done mm -hmm. and I have one more pair of socks on the needles for Holden which mm -hmm. I also want done mm -hmm. so hats and socks mm -hmm. are pretty much what you're gonna see from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, in case that wasn't clear, that is for the Use Your Sock Stash Yarn uh, Knit Along from Alexandra of Fiberbound. Fiber yeah. And then um, if you want to check out our um, Knit Alongs, Make Alongs in our Discord group, we've got the year-long um, Andrea Mowry, Drea Renee Knits Knit Along, the year-long Use Your Stash Make Along, and then the seasons change make along which is going from april 1st to june 1st 
And then we know we're going to do a Christmas in July type um, knit along in July. And then there'll be other ones before the end of the year. So mm -hmm. we love, that's one of our favorite things about, you know, having the Rose Oval Knits community is that we get to do all these make alongs. And Half the time we don't even follow them. Like neither of us have cast on Andrew and Mallory pattern yet. We not, caked up I, our yarn. Yes, we, we got, have yarn in bags. Yeah, ready, we have yeah, ready to yarn go. ready. Mm -hmm. But yep. Then we. But we have a whole ideas. year to do it. So, <laughs> and you know we're not winning prizes anyway. We like to send you guys the prizes. <laughs> so um, yeah, so you can check us out there. Uh, don't forget to leave your comment below with a pattern that you would like if you were to win or a pattern that you were thinking about knitting coming up soon and we'll pick a random winner for that. Um, my birthday gift to you. <laughs> so, all right, um, that's it. For, I don't have anything else to say to you. I don't have anything else. All right, we will see you next week. Yep, bye.